Hello everyone. It's a great honor to be able to share our interesting study. The title is Efficacy and Safety Comparison of Scissor Type Knives with Needle Type Knives for Colorectal Endoscopic Submucosal Dissection, a post hoc propensity score match analysis. I'm Toshio Kuai from National Hospital Organization, Kurei Medical Center, and Chugo Cancer Center in Kure City, Japan. He is the Kure City's official mascot, Kureshi, and today's ma navigator. Our study is a March Center study conducted by the Hiroshima Gastrointestinal Endoscopy Research Group. Hiroshima is located in Western Japan, and 11 facilities in Hiroshima Prefecture were participated. Here is our center located in Kure City. We are now on the rooftop of our center and you can see a spectacular view of Seto Island Sea where a lot of beautiful islands are located. Since the establishment of Kure Naval Station in 1889, Kure developed as a naval base city. There are still a lot of historical sites ruins, and remained related to Kure Naval Station. Actually, our center was originally known as Japan Naval Hospital and was established in the same year, 1889. Although there are big advantages of ESD, including the ability of correcter resection size and shape and permit in high curative resection and low recurrence rates. The adoption of correcter ESD is not widespread because of technical challenges. A narrow coron lumen hinders the manipulation of the scope tip, and a thin coronic wall increases the risk of perforation during the procedure. The needle type knives, such as dual knife, flash knife, B knife, are commonly used for colorectal ESD, and these conventional ESD devices have free hand chips and are used without fixing the target, creating a potential risk of unexpected incision and perforation of the colorectal wall. More recently, scissor type knives, such as the SB Knife Jr., are available in United States, and we have previously reported their efficacy and safety. The technique of colorectal ESD using scissor type knife is the same as that the biopsy technique, which does not require advanced skill and complex endoscopic manipulation. Basic colorectal ESD procedure using scissor type knife consists of the following three steps grasping, pulling, and cutting. Therefore, it could be performed relatively safely and easily. However, there was no evidence for that because no study has compared the efficacy and safety of different types of knives for colorectal ESD. Therefore, we have conducted this study. In this propensity score matched analysis, we observed that the intraoperative perforation and delayed bleeding rates in colorectal ESD using a scissor type knife were significantly lower than those using a needle type knife. Furthermore, the rate of regions rejected by ESD using a single knife was also significantly higher in the scissor type knife group. Based on these data, we revealed that the scissor type knife allows for safer colorectal ESD. Therefore, we believe that it's useful not only for trainees but also among experts as a secondary device in difficult situations. Useful tips for ESD using scissor type knife is to perform a circumferential mucosal incision like cutting paper and submucosal dissection is to perform with the image of connecting the dots 
as appropriate dissection depth. A circumferential incision is initiated from the anal side, and one of the blades is placed under the mucosa as if cutting paper with scissors. Then, an incision is made with little tension in the form of a slightly bounced knife. Grasping, pulling, and cutting are performed in a repeating manner. The appropriate depth of submucosal dissection is slightly below the middle portion of the submucosa, one third from the bottom of the submucosa. Submucosal dissection is performed with the image of connecting the dots at the appropriate dissection depth. We also revealed that the disadvantage of scissor type knife is slower resection speeds compared with needle type knives. As a countermeasure to this concern, new knives and devices are being developed. This is a newly developed SB Knife Junior called SB Knife Junior 2, launched in 2019 and is available only in Japan now. This new knife is equipped with a rotation handle for one-to-one -one rotation of blades that facilitate easy manipulation by an assistant. In addition, new coating materials to prevent unnecessary diathermal burn and a new blade design with a protrusion might contribute to speedier resection. Moreover, several traction devices, such as an SO clip, short clip with mounting, have been developed, and these devices are also expected to reduce the procedure time in colorectal ESD using scissors type knives. I believe such measures will help overcome the disadvantage of the scissor type knives. Although the effectiveness of these countermeasures should be evaluated next, we believe that the scissor type knife will contribute to the worldwide spread of colorectal ESD because of its safety and easy to use. After this pandemic, please come visit Kura City and our center. We look forward to seeing you. Thank you for your attention.